Hi everyone. In this video I'm doing a question from the semiconductor material and diodes worksheet. So I'm doing question 16, uh, 16a and I'll draw the circuit for you here. I've got a DC voltage source, a resistor, a diode, and then a second DC source. My ground reference is here, and I just feel like straightening out that wire. Um, this is a plus 8 volt supply, like so. This is a plus 5 volt supply. And we've got a 10 ohm resistor here and our, our diode. So the question is, we want to determine if the diode is forward or reverse biased. I don't know why I can't say the word reverse today, but forward or reverse biased. And um, we want to also figure out the voltage across the diode. Okay. Um, and But we need to figure out if it's forward or reverse to be for, biased before we can do that. So this question, the first thing you want to notice is there are two voltage supplies. And um, what we want to do is think about how they combine to provide a drop across the diode. So um, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm following that positive around like this. So essentially it's like having 5 volts like that and the positive of the 8 is here and the negative wraps around to the other side. So it's like having 8 volts like that and the combined total would be 3 volts in the same direction as the 8 volts, right? Because that's the bigger voltage. So, um, so what I can see from that, if I have uh, plus 3 volts across the diode like this, um, the diode is going to be... Oh, sorry, I just drew that in exactly the wrong direction. Um, across the diode like this, that diode is going to be reversed biased. So the diode is going to be reverse biased, which means the diode um, is opposing current flow, so there's no current flow. And then the voltage across that diode then is going to be that full, uh, that full voltage drop. So um, the VD, the, the voltage across the diode, is going to be um, 3 volts in, in that direction that, that I've shown there on the diagram. Okay, now suppose for the sake of example, let's suppose that I uh, reverse the, the voltage supplies. So actually I'll reverse the diode because that's less drawing. So let me erase my scribbles here. And I'm going to keep the supplies the same, uh, but I am going to flip the diode around. So my diode is now going to face this way. Okay, so now my diode's facing this way. The same determination that I made before. Um, where I would get 5 volts in this direction, 8 volts in that direction, and the combined total of that would be 3 volts in this direction. That remains the same because I didn't flip the, the voltage supplies. They stayed the same. But now you notice that that, that 3 volts is like this. Um, that will now forward bias the diode because now this is the anode side, right? So in that case, um, current will flow in the circuit and that won't be the voltage across the diode. So I will get my 0.7 volt drop here in this direction and the rest of that 3 volts is going to be dropped across this resistor. So 3 so 2.3 volts is going to be dropped across that resistor. So we're going to say um, that 
uh, this diode is forward biased. Therefore, the voltage across the diode is 0.7 volts. The voltage across the resistor, so VR in this case, is 2.3 volts. We're going to have current flow in our circuit flowing in this direction. Okay, so there's our direction of current flow. And that current we could calculate as VR divided by the resistance. So that's going to be 2.3 volts divided by 10 ohms, which would be 0 0.23 amps. Okay, so that is the, um, that's what would happen if we had flipped the diode around.